Oh, yeah, loosen that drag. That's a good one, dude. Loosen it, loosen it. Dude. My bad. Almost threw Jack out of the boat. <laughs> I think we got it. There he is. Hey, what's up, everybody? Okay, I'm going in the office right now. I'm meeting Brant. We're going to go wrangle a shark. I don't know where we're going, but we're going to wrangle one because my favorite fishing, probably on the beach and in a boat, is shark fishing. They're dangerous, they're mean, and they taste good. Not to mention the man in the gray suit. He always steals your good fish, your snapper, your redfish. He likes to take a chunk if you don't get him up fast enough. But I think my favorite fish to eat, top five, black tip shark, charcoal grill. That smoky taste, it just, it's really good. Four people. We had to stop in the Everman's, get some ingredients for our, uh, for our video, Brant. All right, head to the boat. I got my fruit also. That was the most expensive orange I've ever seen. $1.62 for an orange. <laughs> We're trying to get to Joe Patty's, but I guess they're detouring us. So if you're wondering, we're getting our bait at Joe Patty's. That's why I had to stop at the sea market. This is a landmark in Pensacola. If you come to Pensacola, you gotta go to Joe Patty's. So we picked up some mullet and some Spanish mackerel. It's fresh at Joe Patty's. It's a lot easier than catching it. And it's pretty cheap too. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen. I totally dropped it off the, the, the bed of the truck. All right guys, so we're gonna head off into Pensacola Bay. We're looking for a sharp nose or a black tip shark. Now, these two sharks are all over the place in the state of Florida. They're perfectly legal game fish. They're great to eat. A black tip is where a T-bone steak meets a fish. Last one we did was on a charcoal grill. It was amazing. That's what we're targeting today. We're gonna head out there and we're gonna try to hang us one. Shouldn't take us long. And we're gonna take it back and we're gonna Ooh, cook almost it. Almost fell overboard. Brand almost fell overboard. <laughs> We had a minor mishap. We don't have any wire cutters and we're going shark fishing. We're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna get out there. This is part of the journey. It's the experience. We're documenting the experience, Brant. That pisses me off. <laughs> Did a quick stop, we got some wire cutters. We're back on the water. All right, we just pulled up to the spot. Nice deep spot, got a little current. Brant's rigging up the baits. We got some awesome whole mullet. It's about to get physical out here. We got some Spanish blowing up over here. The point of this spot is don't fall overboard. There's big sharks down there. That's the point of this. This is a dangerous spot, guys. Happening. All right, so the first bait we're putting down is a piece of Spanish mackerel. Check this out. Just cut it. He's rigging it up. We're gonna drop this bad boy down, like what midwater column, Brant? Yeah, something like that. We're gonna get weird with it, putting it down there like midwater column. And I'm willing to bet as soon as it hits the middle of the water column, bamo! Bet you it's either a bull shark or a black tip. 
or something really cool because this spot's got so much current and so much nasty fish down there. Like these the Spanish are blowing up over here. Look at that, Brant. Badass. Crushing it. it. Means Spanish are in the bay. That's Badass, exciting. Bro. We're just eye piling in down right here. See right here. Look at the current take it, and it's gonna go down about mid water column. Those are bonitas, Jack. If we could get one of those, are bonitas. If we could get Sweet. one of those. Oh look, it's coming, kind of coming back to us. Look, we got some 90 pound steel wire right here. Can you see it? That's what we're rocking right there, 90 pound steel wire. All right. The line's like actually right there. Whatever it is, we need to get up there. Hey, step. Crushing it. There it is, oh, fish there on, it fish is. On, fish on, dude, fish on. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Real, 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 real. You got him. Woo! He's a screamer. He's you got a screamer. A screamer. Tighten, up on him, tighten up on him, tighten up on him. There you go, right there. Oh, dude. Woo! <laughs> Pull him off that wreck in case it could be a grouper or snapper. Nice, man. That took, what, five minutes? Probably, yeah. Oh, dude, look, it's a freaking big red snapper. We got a snapper. Oh, my God. Ah. So I just caught a big snapper. He was good eating size. Rule said we got to put him back, so we had to put him back. But we got another line out. We just put some mullet out. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. I'm hooked on that feeling. You know that love and feeling? That's what I'm hooked on. I thought it was Spanish and it's hardtails. Well, some of them are Spanish, but that's a hard. So we've been chasing Benita looking for new bait. I think it's a fresh bait. We've got a couple hardtails. But what we're doing right now is we're drifting the channel. Just free drifting. You know, the big dogs, they troll the channel. The big dogs are just trying to eat and we're just trying to feed them. We've been drifting for like 20 minutes. No sharks. It's gonna happen. We've got faith. Just gonna catch a nap while I'm waiting. Grant's driving. So check it out, he's got it all under control. He's got his feet on the dash and everything. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not. No, it's a fish, it's pumping. Yeah. My bad, I almost threw Jack out of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he got excited. I thought that the fish was gonna take off running and we didn't have a ton of line on that reel. Oh, yeah, loosen that drag. That's a good one, dude. Loosen it, loosen it. There you go. We don't want to break him off. Dude, I think he got a big sharp nose. That's what he's fighting like. He hit it like a big black tip, and that's why I was like, we need to follow him. I got him. Oh, there he goes. Guys, I think we may have a winner winner chicken dinner here. I think we got it. There he is. That is a sharp nose. That's an Atlantic sharp nose, and that's the exact fish that we wanted right there. Get him in the boat. I'm going to flip him. Be the perfect size to eat too. Him in the boat. We got him. <laughs> this is the shark species we were wanting to target right here. He's gonna make a great dinner. Perfectly legal to catch and capture and cook and eat and feel good about in the state of Florida. They're not endangered because I know somebody's gonna put it in the comment section. But mission accomplished. We got him. Took us about an hour. Game set match. Take it to the house. How are you gonna cook it? For the next step here, we've got to bleed this shark. You gotta bleed them out because they urinate through their skin and you'll get all kinds of ammonia junk in your meat. It's just gonna be better if you bleed him out. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do right here. So I wanna add to that is you gotta cut him around the tail, around the gills. The shark is already dead, so nobody yell at me. But that's how we're gonna do it. It's gonna make the meat taste a lot better. It's gonna be pretty white meat and it's just gonna be awesome and ready for the grill. Oh, a big giant bull shark is going to come up and eat your hand off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a possibility. <laughs> it's a risk I'm willing to take. So the shark is bled. The blood came out nice, clean. Bleeding the shark is really an important part of cleaning a shark, right? It may seem brutal, but in this case, the thing was already dead. It's a must if you're going to clean these things properly. 
or you're just gonna get some that meat that you gotta like soak in milk and stuff. Check it out, we just beat the thunder showers. Afternoon thunder showers here in Pensacola. Every day, same time it does this. Just clouds up. That's a full-grown Atlantic shark nose, 100%. It's not a little shark, it's not a baby shark. It's a full-grown shark that's just as big as they get. No shark meat that's alive today. Yeah, it's not jumping today. Sometimes when you uh, butcher a shark, the meat will sit there and just keep throbbing like hours after it's dead. It's pretty crazy. Doesn't mean the shark is still alive, it just means that its muscles are still contracting. It's some kind of electrical thing. I just got back here to the house. It is storming outside, so no charcoal grill. That leaves just a few choices. Samantha is over there coming up with something cool for dinner. What are we doing, Samantha? I think that we are going to do Asian shark. Asian shark, holy cow, is that legal? Yes. All right. Ginger. Garlic. Garlic! Soy sauce and sesame so is, where's oil. Where's the soy sauce? Um, I think it's in the pantry because we haven't opened it yet. We had to get a new bottle. It's over there. Have some honey. Honey! And then we'll get some sesame oil. Boom. That's it. Let's get our pan going. I'm gonna use this pan. Or we can use our cast iron skillet. I like using cast iron. Jack, where's the shark at? It's in the cooler right there. I just eyeball all of this. A little garlic. A little ginger. Ooh, whoa, that's too much. Our mouths would be burning if we ate that much ginger. Little red pepper flakes. Throw a little zing to it. And some honey. Touch of sesame oil. This stuff goes a long way, so don't use too much. You can always add more. Soy sauce. Soy sauce! That's a lot of soy sauce. Eh, not that much. And then some vinegar. And then just a couple of twists of pepper. All right, let's mix it all up. Pan's hot, we're just waiting on the fish, Jack. Hey, hey, hey. All right, as you saw earlier today, we've already cleaned this. We put it in a bag and I'm just gonna slice it up and we're gonna put some sauce on it and we're gonna get it. Cook it up, cook it up real good. Marinate. One each cutting board. Let's marinate it on this. Oh, that's a lot. Check this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the bone out of it and just clean it up a little bit. Just make it look good, fashionable. All right, what's going on now? Oh, Ooh, did you just oh, spill? Man. You just spilled. Crap. Fail. All right. Okay, let's try that again. I'll be more gentle this time. Pretty good. Tastes good, must be good. Yeah, it needs a little something though. Here we go. Stir it up. Yeah. This is this Asian marinade. Ooh. Marin Whoa, it smelt again. Marinade. <laughs> Jack took me out to wine before this. That's why I'm spelling. It's not my fault. It sure does smell good. Oh, it smells real good. That red pepper flake will give it a nice little bite. So what all you got in this? So we have some honey for sweetness, soy sauce, sesame oil, red pepper flake, ginger, garlic, salt, pepper, and rice wine vinegar. 
When you're frying things though, you can pinch some flour into the water and if it sizzles up, it's ready. Or a wooden spoon down, then it's ready. This is definitely ready. You can feel the heat coming off of it. Are you ready? Come closer. I'm trying to pull a picture here. Oh. Because there's honey in it, it will caramelize the shark just a little bit. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Because the sugar in the honey creates a caramelization. Caramelization? Say that three times fast. It's the caramelization. Caramelization, caramelization, I blame the wine. YouTube's going to get mad at you if you keep making fun of me. Alright, what's going on here? Alright, it's done. Wow. Looks good. I'm just gonna dump it on this plate. Are you gonna try a piece? Yeah. Now, this would be awesome with a side of rice and some vegetables, but we are just having it by itself. But you can make this a whole Asian stir fry meal if you I can want. I imagine to. that'd be really good. So good. All right, you guys ready? It cooks very quick. Let's see. Which one do I want? I've been eyeing, the winner. Been eyeing this guy right here. What kind of shark was this? Atlantic shark nose. Atlantic shark nose, right yeah. here. Yeah, so that's three times fast. But very hot. Very good. You put it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm, so good. Tastes like, um, what fish did we make the last video? A tuna? No, it was a white fish. Amberjack? Yeah, yeah. It um, kind of has that texture, like a white, uh, a firm white fish texture, but it has a very mild flavor, almost like chicken breast. Mm. Like very mild. It doesn't take taste fishy out. It's kind of like the uh, black tub. Kind of. Come good. try it, Jack. Chicken. It's very good. All right, guys, here goes nothing. Mm. It's real good. Tastes really like good. chicken. It does taste like white meat chicken. Tastes really good. When they good. say it tastes like chicken, tastes like chicken. It has a good texture and, um, and not a fishy flavor at all. You would never know this was shark. And the Asian marinade kind of gives it a mild flavor. It doesn't overpower yeah. it. Very good. With vegetables and stir fry. Noodles, that'd be, a lao mein, that'd be really, really good. That would be good. That well, be good. all right guys. So that was my day. We put apples and, and oranges in shark's mouths and we cooked them. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. We're going to sit down and eat this stuff. Awesome. Good job, Jack. Way to catch See it. See you guys next time.